Falling on your feet, do you finally see what you're missing? You're just one lost soul. February 22nd, 2022. The numbers are the same forward and backward. It's a palindrome. They're also the same whether you, when you flip them upside down. So it's called an ambigram. Except, you know, in the United States, it's not a palindrome because the date format we use on the left there, 2 2022 is not a palindrome. So you need the form on the right there. So who in the world uses that? Well, actually, most of the world, as you can see here, if you look at this, the international standard, uh, starting with the year, few nations use, they're in yellow. But uh, the only nations that don't, that, that, use a f that don't use the format that would lead to... 22 of 2 2022 being a palindrome are the US, Iran, and China. Hmm, interesting. Now, the divine name is embedded in this palindromic date. The 22 you see there, if you take the last two letters of the tetragrammaton, Yahweh, the divine name, Bao He, uh, they're Pi 7. That's what that looks like, pi 7. And when you multiply pi times 7 and you use 22 sevenths for pi, you get 22. So you got 22 three times. Something else. So besides sort of channeling the divine name, you've got 220 and 220. That's the, the two half bases of the Great Pyramid. So the base of the Great Pyramid, 440 cubits, is encrypted in this name. So, not just is the base of the Great Pyramid encrypted, but also its height. And the base and the height are the two most important factors in any pyramid. How is the height configured here? Well, if you take the base of the Great Pyramid twice in meters, so I'm switching from cubits to meters, and you divide by pi, which is basically the 22 that you have there, it equals 146.6, which is the height of the Great Pyramid. So that's incredible that the height of the Great Pyramid and its base are encoded in the palindromic date today. But there's more. So Da Vinci took the divine name, mirrored it as he does, and then joined it together. And the framing that he has over, let's, let's, uh, let's look at this again here a little bit. So let's take this back here. Notice the window frames there. Now, my friend Will Wire colored those in, but Da Vinci, who, my window frames don't look like that. They're, they're missing on two sides there. Maybe there's a wall or something there. But, uh, you know, the point is that look at the gold shape there. It's the same as the Hebrew letters. So Da Vinci seems to be encoding the divine name in this picture of the Last Supper, Jesus and his disciples. The divine name is there. And so we've got the divine name and the Great Pyramid combined in the palindrome of today. So there's an ancient card from the major arcana of the tarot deck, the Egyptian tarot, called the Thunderstruck Tower, which is the 16th card, which if you add up, you know, the digits 1, 6, it's 7. And then you've got circled there the Hebrew letter we've been talking about. So basically you've got the divine name in the, at the bottom of the card there. But look at the picture. This is thousands of years old. I believe these cards, the Egyptian cards, go back long before the Middle Age decks of tarot cards came out. This is a message that's been in the human race thousands of years. It's saying these two individuals who are at the top of the pyramid are being thunderbolted down. It's apparently a divine judgment. So apparently there's a wrong way to get right with God. We've got Jesus and his disciples taking the Lord's Supper and the fact that the divine name is encrypted over those windows implies that Yahweh is without and Yahweh is within. He's within through the human form of the disciples, their divinity, just like Yahweh is divinity, divinity within and without. But here we've got two men, maybe the Antichrist and the false prophet, being thrown off the top of the pyramid. It's an ancient symbol. And then look at the American dollar bill. Novus Ordo Seclorum, a new world order. And they're using this all-seeing eye coming down into the top of the pyramid. We'll take care of you in this new world order. We'll take care of everything using the symbol. And that is the Great Pyramid. I've studied the Great Seal uh, of the United States uh, in, in uh, Washington, D.C. 
And that is was meant to be the Great Pyramid there, pictured on our on our dollar bill. All right, so the message seems to be that there are winners and there are losers. There's a right way to be right with God, and I think we each need to find our place in doing that. But it is a real possibility. So I think that's all encrypted in the palindrome of today, 2202022, February 22nd, 2022. Oh, yeah, you're finding your way to be right with God. When you see me, do you believe in a higher love? Somebody let the sun come up again.